So you see, after the portion has been removed from the pillar, the alignment is uh, off by about a half inch on both sides. Our centering brace is lined up with the center of the roof and stable. We just need to put our pie cuts in there, move things around a little bit, and hopefully line it up. All right, so I got my pie cuts completed. Now I'm gonna install a half inch by half inch rod in here. And I will rosette weld it inside and that will help line everything all up and bring it in together. As you can see, I got the tube inside and starting to line things up. Now I just need to pull it all together. I saved the filming on this. There was a lot of cussing involved, but I got it all lined up. Got the A-pillars welded in and metal finished. Now time to start on the back. So I've been playing with the height of the rear of the roof and ultimately this is where I want it to be. I originally took five and a quarter out of the back but actually it's going to work out to be four and a quarter which will match the front. Right now the back window has a bit of a hunchback where the roof meets. So to take care of that and make the window fit better, I'm going to be removing all of this area here, which should help to get everything lined up.
Can't be too perfect. So I'm happy with the flow of the roof. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. And as you can see, I just trimmed it at the top of the back window and pushed up underneath it. So now I'll score it, pull the window back out, trim it, and finish weld it. So I've taken and slid the window up under the roof. And now I need to mark it here. So what I did is I made this simple little tool it just slides under there, and then I can score it along the edge, and it will match that edge there. So I worked on the back panel, but I decided the first one I didn't like. So I redid it, and now it lands on the top of the line here, at the bottom of the window. Makes it much easier to weld it on the edge there. Also added these braces here, keep everything nice and solid. Probably gonna go ahead and get rid of this one here altogether. Just a little bit of mock up there. I think I'll start lengthening the doors now so I can start building that back filler piece.
right, so I got all this packed in place. Now it's time to start on up here, or to start with my feed filler. All right, so I got the back panel in. Now I'll start on the sail panel. Also going to remove this area here, as I'm not keeping this as a four-door. So I'll take my pattern and keep it a little bit long and start working in my window. All right, so I got the rest of the panel welded in. Now time to start metal finishing. So the back panel is all welded in. Not quite metal finished, but it's good for the time being. Now I will start on lengthening the front doors. They need to be lengthened 10 and a quarter inches total. I'm going to use the rear doors as parts. Got the door marked where I'm gonna cut it front and back. Now to start trimming. So for the edge of the door here, to pull this piece off, I'm gonna grind the edge here so I can pull the back lip off and pull this piece out.
got the door braced up and measured out correctly. And as you can see, the door tapers from front to back, so it doesn't quite fit right. So the way I'm gonna get around that is I'm gonna cut all this out since it has rust damage on both sides and then square things up and it should all line up. borrowed a piece out of the back door to extend the front door currently just tapped in place so i cut my door stripped it tacked the skin on here but i find that there were some previous repairs down here at the bottom so i'm just going to go ahead and make a new skin A little test fitting of the door. So I pulled the skin off the door, split it in half to lengthen the door. But once I ground it down, I found that there was some pretty bad repairs down on the bottom. So I think I'll just make a whole new skin. Like everything, it starts with a pattern. Take the bend there. Got my pattern cut out and made this simple jig in my vise, which have it clamped down to some angle iron with a piece of round tubing in the back that I'll bend over. I went ahead and hammed it to the door jam. So I got the door tacked together and had enough pieces to build the top there. Got my door extension done. I got my skin tacked in for the back. Now it's time to focus on the quarter wood. So I made this uh, plywood template. Which will go like that and we'll pound it out of metal.
starting to look like something. Starting to look like something. As you can see here, I have did a turn down on the inside lip to remount the stainless steel and got the door tops put back in place. Still a lot of finish welding and metal work to do.